Thank you for coming back. In the following experiment, I'm going to demonstrate plasma made of sodium metal. Now in this tube I have low pressure argon gas and I have a bit of sodium metal in the bottom of the tube. As you can see there's no yellow color typical of sodium which gives a monochromatic yellow light. That's because the Tesla coil that I'm exciting the gas with doesn't have enough power to heat up the sodium and evaporate it. So I'm adding some heat with this Bunsen burner and see what happens. The sodium metal ionizes into a sodium plasma, which is a beautiful monochromatic yellow orange color. You typically see that in street lights. These lights are very common in Europe, specifically England, where I, got, I first got to see them. You can see as I heat it more, you get more of the sodium metal turning into plasma. Here's, I let it cool down. And you can see all this metal has gone back, in, all the sodium has gone back into the metal form. So in order to regenerate the sodium ion plasma, I have to heat the metal up to evaporate it. There it goes. Because there's low pressure in this tube, it's also going to cause the sodium metal to evaporate and recondense, as you can see there. It's forming that ring of metal around the base of the tube. All right, here's another one. This is a much smaller tube. And with a smaller tube, the Tesla coil should be able to generate enough heat within the tube to evaporate the sodium without using a flame. As you can see, the sodium metal is evaporating without external heat. That tube is pretty hot and it's formed a sodium Ion, sodium metal ion plasma without additional heating. Now, we're going to do something different. I did the same experiment with potassium a few weeks ago. What we're going to do here is we're going to fill this bottle up with argon gas. And as you can see, there's a few bits of sodium in the bottle. Now, when I just turn on high voltage to the atmospheric pressure, argon gas, it's typical argon color. Now if I leave it long enough, the heat of the plasma arcs evaporates the sodium and makes these bright yellow, brilliant yellow arcs. They're amazing to watch. And they dance around in the bottle. Here's a slow motion. This is incredible to watch and very bright. So sodium metal iron arcs in an atmospheric pressure bottle. Now typical sodium pressure lamps are actually high pressure lamps. So we know that sodium metal will e easily ionize at atmospheric pressure or above. Some of the blue color that you see is where there isn't any sodium ions. Now here's potassium metal in a low pressure tube with heating. And you can see the color of the potassium ions, which is that lilac kind of color at the bottom of the tube. If you want to try and repeat any of these experiments, first of all, make yourself familiar with the handling of high voltage equipment. That's very important. Then you'll need to get yourself a high voltage power supply. You can either make a Tesla coil, and there are plenty of instructions out there, or make a flyback transformer driver. This is the one I'm using, which I'm calling bulletproof flyback driver, which can handle a lot of power. This is the one that I used for the experiments that you saw. And I'm going to put out an Instructables or a WordPress on how to do it. I'm in the preparation of doing that right now. So please be patient and I'll get that out if for anyone that's interested in making this. But this is running at low power. And if you turn it up, it'll just basically burn out your flyback. So this just is a demonstration of how much power it can handle. This is my last video on alkaline metal plasmas. I'm gonna move on to something else. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.